<sighs> but I wouldn't give for actually getting some money. All right, what do we have here? Vargas didn't change. His stats got lower for um, the look of things. He's still pretty powerful. What about you, Dart? Where are you at? But Dart's not here. Or is that Dart? That is, there's Dart. Dart's Hector. Hector with a shitload of skill and speed, but nothing else. Well, if it turns out he doesn't have growth rates and skill and speed, I guess I wouldn't mind too much. Yeah, Hector's not bad. Level 8 already. Alright, it's time. Let's get using. No sense waiting for it. Sarah's pretty much good to go. All she gains is speed and, uh, speed and resistance anyway. And that doesn't look too bad. Uh, I don't know. It's a little bit silly. The resistance game was really nice off that. She has, like, little yellow dots in her hair. Yeah, Sarah's looking pretty good right now. Very defensive. That's nice. Uh, Sarah, what is your resistance growth anyway? Um, 25. Okay, yep, yep, that's fun. And finally, it's time for Rat to promote. He's gonna, like, re-promote later on in the game, but for the time being, I think it's okay to promote him. So Wrath, on the other hand, is going to be terrible because he's never going to gain HP, but oh well. His armor looks better. He actually looks pretty intimidating now. Usable speed stat, hooray! Well, uh, you were looking pretty scary there, Wrath. That's all I got to say. Uh, yeah. Wrath is not bad. His resistance is out of the ballpark insane. But he's not going to be gaining much stats. He's pretty much going to max out his strength, max out his resistance, and he's going to slowly whittle everything up. I mean, he might get some defense here and there because it's 20. Uh, his luck is 45, so he'll gain that respectively. A little bit of speed at 25, everything else, no. He doesn't gain skill or HP. So uh, say hello to max HP, max skill, wrath. So, though, having two generals on my side is going to be useful. We're only allowed to bling six units here, but we get Kanas or whoever Kanas' replacement is for free. Um, Karel, you are going to be a uh, mainstay unit. That's all I'm going to be saying about you. Mm, look at those stats. Yum, yum. It's really the defense that's gold tier about him. So, these pirates are very scary. Very, very scary. Uh, the L-Fire Nosferatu Mage are surprisingly not scary, because Wrath is just good to go. And actually, Wrath can use a Hand Axe now, finally. That's good to know. Give me the Hand Axe. Now we're going to want a Slim Lance, Iron Lance, and Heavy Spear. Yep, that's pretty much it. And a Bulnerary we actually have. Good usage, too. So if we put Wrath up there with the Hand Axe, he should be okay. Uh, his defenses are not exactly good enough to sponge the pirates. Oh, the pirates double the shit out of him. Especially the hammer guy. The hammer guy is a bit of a, bit of a problem. Fargus is also a bit of a problem, but we only really have to talk to him. So again, push comes to shove, we can just leave. We're only getting rid of a short bow and a lance reaver. In fact, I think we can still get the short, but we won't get the sleep staff. But I don't know if I really care about the sleep staff that much. Uh, we still get a chance to shop, too. There's a lot more pirates around the side than usual. So this is going to be a good chapter to level up anybody who can rush up there and deal with the pirates. So, for example, Geats could level up pretty well. Alright, let's think about who we want to bring, though. Wrath is a necessary pick, so that's it. Priscilla, I'm thinking about not bringing. I should only bring one healer, so Priscilla's maybe our lady. Though I do like Fiora's extra range. Just the fact that Priscilla can not get doubled against most units. It's very nice. So we're going to need Sarah. We're, we're going to need Sarah. There's no question about that. Kanas, we're going to need him. Lowen, I'm thinking about not bringing. Geats, we don't need... Matthew, I don't know if we need Matthew. 
Nino, we're, we're probably going to need Nino. And then I don't know who else to bring. None of our other units. Well, Corel. So this is like our strike force. Pretty much all our good units, except for Priscilla. But, you know, Priscilla's not bad. And then we hope Kanats is good, whoever he is. Uh, or she is. Well, I guess we might as well uh, move forward and get ready for the next round, kids. I like how both my generals have 27 HP. Merlinus became level 7. Hooray! Alright, let's go get ourselves the Devil Axe. Thanks. Ooh, that Devil Axe. <laughs> that Devil Axe, no. Ugh, it's not good. Nino can use it pretty well, only losing 4 speed. Wrath uses it and loses 6 speed, so no. And let's go see who we get. Hello, Kanas, except you're actually... Farina, with one Ballista and a Secret Book. Well, Farina has pretty good stats. And that one Ballista is actually pretty useful. Allows us to attack one unit. Hooray. Farina might just be better, uh, better Lowen. I'm not certain, though. Good luck. Uh, bad speed. Mixed defenses. Just very, very mixed. Level 8 already. I don't know. We'll think about it. Probably not, though. Farina might just be getting the bench. Alright, Corel, you're gonna want to get some experience. We're gonna definitely promote you. Uh, Wrath. I guess Wrath and Nino are gonna have to, like, interchange themselves to deal with the situation over here. Nino doesn't have good resistance, though. Kanas is gonna have to help out with, uh, Sarah. These two should be able to handle situations by themselves. Actually, Sarah is just better than Kanas at the moment. Uh, Farina. Uh, I will save your usage of that ballista, though. Up uh, here comes Luna. Sorry for fast forwarding. Accident. I would like to get you an actual flux tome, but for the time being, you're gonna have to deal with Luna. Oh, there it is. Corel, you're so good. Like, literally. 40% uh, attack, 45% speed, 50% defense, and 80% luck. Everything else is pretty trash, but still, just, just the fact that he gets those stats, he's, he's good to go. Especially the magic growth is very important. Oh my god. <laughs> the crits. So what was that about Luna not being a very great tome? Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I think Luna's still pretty good. I mean, sure, it's a little bit heavy, but uh, it's not that heavy. All right. Are the pirates moving for? They are moving forward. These sons of bitches. So we have a sword slayer, and that's no fun to deal with at all. Gotcha. Here goes the ballista. What moon comes? I would let them sit there if they didn't come any closer. God damn it. Thank you, Kanas. Yeah, Sword Slayer is a really big problem. Oh my lord! What are the stats on that thing? Ew. Good against Mermanons. Yeah, I'll say it's good against Mermanons, alright? Ew. That is fucking gross shit. Not gonna touch that with my dick. Alright, let's go see if Merlinus has any uh, bows for us to use. Meanwhile, Wrath is going to sit here, Vulnerary up. Actually, I probably should have just healed him. That was a waste of a Vulnerary, considering they're so fucking rare. Ah, uh, there's Damien. Oh god, for fucking sake! Is his name Damien? I forget. He moves! Sword Slayer does 17 damage! This chapter might just be a little bit fucked. I don't know about you guys, but it might, it might be pretty fucked. Speed and resistance. Lordy lord. Uh, no crit arena, please, Kanas. Thank you. I'm not sure if the other pirate can reach me. I think he can. If he can, I might be screwed. He totally can, can he? They're just moving. 
the four damage. Lucky. You know what would be awesome? An elixir. I know it's a bit overkill for this point in the game, but hey, Kanas could use one pretty badly. Also, a men's staff would be pretty cool, too. <sighs> well, Corel's having fun over there with his never miss Lunatome. Alright, well, have fun, Corel. Yeah, um, what is your weapon there? It is Damien. He has a light brand. Oh dear. Oh dear. His stats are really good. Okay, um. Damn it, the hand axe broke. We're gonna have to be careful about this situation. Uh, for example, we're gonna have to rush back and get some healing. There's, there's no way around that. Okay. Luckily, it's really hard to get Merlinus to get killed in this chapter, so that's not a big problem. Alright, Sarah should be able to hold her own. We have to rely on all our promoted units, but it's okay. So what are you guys rushing ahead at me with? Iron Axe or an Iron Axe? Okay, that's no big deal. Wrath will be just fine against those losers. And we continue throwing the Lunatone. <laughs> this makes no sense. Whatever. Um, we are going to let you do your own thing. Nino, you might need to double back here because I think that's more important. Hey, Merchant, do you have any, uh... No. We have the one bow alone and that's it. Good to know. I should have totally given it to, uh, what's her name? Oh, here it comes. Hello, Damien. That was a really cool battle quote, too. You're about to die. Scream if you must. Ow. You fucking what, mate? <clears throat> this is awesome experience for Corel. This is also awesome experience for Sarah. Too bad Sarah doesn't gain too much experience from these guys anymore. Now that she's all leveled up and everything. Yep, Wrath looks really intimidating in the golden armor. So though, we're good. We just need to make sure we don't move too far and spawn the, or trigger those guys in their awful positions. Yeah, Sarah's just fine. Anything that moves is pretty much going to get dominated. Damien is going to have a field day, though. Basically, light branding me from a distance. Because I can't move forward yet. I have to make sure I slaughter everything behind Damien first. Or, I mean, I have to make sure I slaughter... Yeah, actually, yeah, I was right about that. Slaughter everything behind Damien first. Before I trigger those, uh... Six units over there. With their very scary weaponry. Luckily, Wrath is mixed defense, so he should be able to help me deal with that pretty well. I can throw Nino in range, too, and Nino can help me deal with this situation. She has enough defense where it's not a problem. However, the Light Brand is a little bit of a problem, so maybe I shouldn't. Uh, I can use the Longsword. Hey, the Longsword useful! Huzzah! It's very rare you get to see the effective weapons be useful in Fire Emblem 7. They're such piles of shit. 17 speed now. He's actually slowed down to 17. So with my 20 speed, I still don't double him. When he has a Steel Sword equipped, which he won't equip, then he's slow enough for me to double him. Uh-oh. Uh, let's make sure we get rid of this guy, lady. Whatever your name is. You're a problem. Okay, you know. Um. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Don't touch. No, bad touch. Kanas has good persistence, though, so he can touch. Probably. Maybe. Basically, one more resistance. 
However, he does get... No, he doesn't get double. He's still too fast. Get wrecked. Alright. Do we have a hand axe in here? We have a hammer. It's not very useful. What else do we have? Iron swords. A light rune. That might actually be useful. Come to think of it. Maybe I can think of a way to use that light rune to my effect. Like, if I go right here, sit in the bush and place, like, a light rune there, I could probably do something with that. Maybe. It's a little bit of a stretch, but it's a possibility. Place Kanas in range, just in case you are a problem, so we... Ah, shit. That works. I forgot to move Priscilla. Awkward. Yeah, Damien's not accurate enough to make use of the light brand. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh god! And Carol's got this. Carell, whatever your name is. Level 6? 7. We're making our way downtown again. I think the thing that just makes Carell so good is that, uh... He doesn't have any broken stats. He, he just has, like, good stats all around. Except for his resistance, which he has none of. But that doesn't matter because he's a druid. Druid? Druid? Best thing about the druid, though, gets plus three speed when he classes up. That is going to be delicious. There goes the longsword. Knew ye well. I'm thinking about moving Sarah up, because Sarah can deal with the situation if the pirates start charging her, I think. Oh yeah. Well, the Killer Axe guy is actually really scary. Yeah, the Killer Axe guy is super scary. Super soaker. I don't know. I'm scared to move up. Ew. Ew. I don't like that Swordmaster. He's no fun. No fun at all. Oh. What's up? Over here. Gotcha. Okay, interruptions abound. Here we are. Hmm. Well. What I wish we could do is deal with the current situation without getting our butts handed to us. I do think that we do uh, swap in Wrath. That's probably a good idea. So first off, yeah, we're, we're gonna kill you. Mm -hmm. And we'll Max should do it. If we miss, we still have the Hand Axe from Wrath. All right, we're good. Yeah, we're gonna swap in Wrath. Wrath will be able to easily dispatch uh, Damien. In fact, Damien might not even be able to hurt. Yeah, he has 21 attack. No, 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 it's not, not a thing. As long as we have a lance on uh, our good old buddy Wrath here, you should be able to easily dispatch him. It's going to be a little bit, though. Okay. Look over here, drop off Farina. Corral's just going to keep moving forward. He's fine. We need to be careful, though. He might, if he moves past this point, trigger the pirates. I don't remember. I don't think that's how it works. Again, I I've never really done this chapter the way it's sort of intended. All right. We're going to choke point the shit out of him. There we go. Nope. Alright. We should be able to get our good buddy to... Ah, fuck. Hey, what was that about Merlinus being hard to kill in this chapter? <laughs> Ross, you always find a way to do stupid shit, don't you? Yeah, look at that. Mm. Uh, nice crit chance, buddy. Let's see it. Let's see your nice crit. Oh, what are you, baby? Come on, let's see the crit rate. Boo! What a loser. Alright, Damien can't even harm us anymore. So I guess this is good experience for... Yep, might as well just keep throwing at him. We're gonna get the Knight's Crest again eventually. Oh, punch the mic. Kanas will be plenty fine once he classes up. Kanas really is just my best unit at this moment in time. Him and probably Sarah. Because they have, like, actual ability to gain stats. It's kind of amazing. You didn't think it'd be that amazing, but it really is. 
So you're probably going to attack me from a distance, or you're going to attack Sarah. Either or. I don't mind whichever you do. Hey, some speed. What a surprise. An 80% speed growth. Nope. Don't work like that. And we're good. Alright, there goes Damien. So our problems have lessened significantly. I'm thinking about going the bottom path with my mainstay of units. Wait, what the fuck? What happened there, Wrath? You have an 8% resistance growth. Oh well. I know those are like, resistance and attack are your only two stats you ever seem to gain, but come on. Eh, whatever. He's fine. Alright. So yeah, I'm thinking about just charging forward all three of these guys at the same time. Or like, leading them in. Like, putting one unit here. They're all gonna move closer if I do that. And then that should give me the ability to knock them all out. The killer bow guy has a really good weapon. Uh, Elfire guy I'm not worried about. Nosferatu guy I'm not worried about. It's the killer axe, the devil axe, and the hammer. Hammer especially is actually going to be scary this time around. So we need to make sure Sarah deals with that. Or maybe Kanas. You know, you should probably be prepared to do something as well. Priscilla, you're going to be back up. And Farina, you're going to be ready. Karel, I'm thinking about moving back as well. Because if Karel's back here, he'll be able to deal some damage. Yeah, it's probably for the best if I get Karel in position. Alright. Okay. Can they attack that spot? No, they can't. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to move Nina, or you, one space forward, which triggers the Mooncalves line. Wrath, you're ready to go. Kanasha, ready to go. Oh dear. Here it comes. Now they move. Okay. So we have to figure out how to deal with this wall of bullshit. Okay, well the Devil Axe guy is basically primed to be killed. Ooh, the Killer Axe guy is actually really scary. Um. Uh... Can we, fuck, we don't have a hand axe. Well, actually, we do have a hand axe, and you know, I can give him the hand axe. Here we go. Alright, kill the shit out of the hand axe, devil axe guy. The devil axe guy really isn't that threatening. It's just the fact that it hits so fucking hard. What does his luck like, anyway? Ah, that's a 31% chance of backfiring. Holy crap. Borrowing. Alright, yeah, we're gonna kill the killer axe guy. Fuck. Kanas, really. God damn it. Well, we can still kill the Killer Axe guy, potentially. Uh, oh, fuck my fucking butt. Kill the Hammer guy, unless we miss. God damn it, guys! Can you get your shit together for once? Um... Kill the Nosferatu guy. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. Well, Sarah I'm not worried about because she'll be able to dodge all the axe users. They don't have effective weapons against her. All right, uh, we can hope for a crit from the killer axe guy. No. We killed one unit. We are so fucked. Okay, so the Killer Axe guy is going to go after Corel. There's no questioning that. Uh, what's going to happen here? Alright, yeah, here it comes. And we're dead. God damn it. I'm still curious how many units are actually going to die, though. There's one. Well, that was not Farina's death, surprisingly. Idiot hammer guy attacks Sarah, though. Alright, let's go. Come on, continue. Who else is gonna die? Yeah, Farina's not dead. Wow, we actually survived, except for Corel. Son of a bitch. Uh, restart. Okay, we're back. 
This time I saved Farina's Ballista just in case, it might come in handy. Everyone else is pretty much good to go. I gave Sarah Lowen's bow, it helped a little bit, not too much. A little bit of experience for it. I'm also keeping Sarah up this time because it seemed like most of those guys went this way, so that's probably best if I do that. Alright, now then, let's get into range. I'm questioning whether or not I should throw Kanas into range, because really he's only in range of this guy, that guy, and that guy. So that's going to be from the Killer Axe, 15 damage now. That's too risky. I could throw Wrath in range, except the Killer Axe guy is way down, actually. Alright, that might be better. Let's throw you in range. Alright. This way we can also move Kanas a little bit closer. Move Mino closer and you closer. Let's see what happens. Yee boy. Mm, dear, this is gonna be bad. Well. Hey Wrath, are you okay? Eh. Alright, yeah, yeah, that's funny. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, we're back. Mm. Okay, well, this didn't work last time, so, uh... Yeah. <clears throat> Let's just go slow, then. Okay. This should be much better. We also have Ballista Baby in range, just in case. Let's see what happens. They're all gonna move into their nice formation, which is terrible, but oh well. How's that pirate looking uh, stat-wise? Not bad, okay. We don't have to worry about him. Okay, what are we going to do here? Well, um, something. Ooh, ooh. Killer Axe Pirate really is the worst. Okay, we can attack him from a distance with the Iron Bow, and then kill him with uh, this. 12 plus 13 plus 13. Yeah, that's enough damage. Yeah, just barely. Okay. <clears throat> Threw over what we needed. Unfortunately, this means we're going to have to throw you into harm's way, but that's okay. And thank you for getting a crit, Corral. I would have really liked if you had actually gotten that without my encouraging, but oh well. Alright, that was a good experience for Corral. Carl, whatever your name is. Here we go. What to do about this situation? Well, we have the Devil Axe, fucker. Wrath can deal with pretty much any of these guys. Ballista can be used to harm any of these people. Probably the Nosferatu guy would be, like, the best choice so I can knock him out in one hit. Ew. Can you do something, Nino? You can. Alright, uh, yeah, it's probably best if I just do this. This is the best way I can get some damage off cleanly without risking anything. Devil Axe guy has no speed, pretty much. You might just have, like, two effective speed. Uh, yeah, he has two effective speed. Raise him down by eight, twelve, yep, two. Hmm, I don't like the Nosferatu guy now. Nosferatu guy doesn't do much damage. Well, he does a lot, but all of them do. It's just that, like, the fact that he heals himself. Elfire guy is also pretty scary, but he's really slow. Nosferatu guy's actually really slow, too. Ooh, I didn't even check to see if Nosferatu was good. It is. It's heavy. 21 uses. Elfire has more uses than usual. So, that's a little bit scary. Oh, God. Elfire's really good. That's no fun. All right. Double Axe guy is probably the least of our worries. He doesn't have much of a hit chance. Let's just deal with the guys who we know we can deal with. Alright, please crit. Hectoid. Kanas. 
God damn it. Well, we just gotta deal with it then. Hand axe it is. Let's kill him if we can. Thank you. Hey, maybe something lucky will happen with the ballista if we shoot it. Plus two strength does not really help me in this circumstance. Um, something lucky can potentially happen. Believe it or not. No, not lucky. Here we go! Let's see how the turn goes. Um, we're in a better position than we were last time. We killed two of them this time, but still. Oh dear. Thank you, Wrath. Good job. Dodging that is going to be very consequential to our victory in this circumstance that we're in. Unfortunately... Oh my god, Wrath, you're a beast. Holy shit, Wrath, calm down. <laughs> awesome. We still have three more left. Actually, we killed the archer, right? Oh shit. You can't double Nino, can you? No, but you just have a 100% chance of... Yep, Nino's dead. <laughs> Unless he somehow misses an 82. Hey, but we're stranger things... How come you guys always hit the 82s and I can never hit them? Mother. Uh, why? Fuck. Alright, new theory. We're just gonna woo Dao him. This'll work. I think. I mean, hey. I'm pretty dodgy. Unfortunately, Elfire has a really good chance of hit- It has 123 hit rate. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that's really accurate. Um... Throw everyone forward! Throw them all! They can't beat us all down. Yes, they can. But, you know, we like to pretend they can't. Hey, this game's playing stupid, because Sarah has terrible defense compared to all the other units. So they think that uh, attacking with the Devil Axe up close is a smart idea. Uh, that's, a, that's a bonus. Ah, uh, here comes the Hammer Lady. All right, well, this is working so far. So all that really needs to happen is she needs to dodge a crit. Uh, she can probably gonna take the Elfire, but uh, she needs to dodge the Nosferatu. Wow, this is actually working out. You know, I'm getting deja vu of my original Fire Emblem 7 where I just threw Lin out in the main combat and somehow that worked. Oh my Lord, Lin, Sarah, calm down. Is she literally going to just dodge everything? No. Well, she dodged most everything. That, that's good enough for me. We only really managed to kill the Killer Axe guy, but that's good enough. Ew. Um, well, okay then. What the hell do we do? He does four damage to me. Well, might as well, right? This is what Ras good for. <clears throat> being the the mage sponge. Oh, you got your four health back? That's cute. I'm telling you, man. Once he gets on that boat, he's all good to go. I'm telling you, man. Once he gets on that boat, he's all good to go. 22 resistance is nonsense for a general. Uh, do not ninja it. That would be very bad. All right, let's kill the hammer guy. Good job, Corel is getting those pointless criticals. It looks cool, and it gives you bonus weapon experience. No, it doesn't actually, but I'd like to say that it does. Uh, you have an A, I didn't even notice. Holy crap. Um, you are a problem child. Uh, you are also a problem child, Elfire guy. So we're gonna kill you. Tell you what. Alright, you need to crit here, Kanas. There you go. Lovely. Okay, now all that's left is the Devil Axe guy. Damn it, you do just enough. And no, I'm not going to risk uh, lightning in a bottle twice. What I can do, though... Ooh, that'll work. Watch this. I'm going to kill Devil Axe guy. Then I'm gonna put Priscilla Wood in the healing range of Sarah. And Priscilla Wood does not mind Elfire at all, because, uh, has so much resistance. It doesn't even matter. 
Also, we're gonna go over here, uh, go back to the Emblem Blade so you can take the Iron Axe guy. And we're good! I think we made it, guys. Holy shit, what a, what a map. What a map. Uh, Wrath can be attacked, but he doesn't mind the Elfire guy. Kanas will take a lot of damage, but he can survive the Iron Axe guy, no problem. Yeah, we're good. I don't think there's any way for them to beat us now, but uh, knock on wood. Yep, Kanas is having fun over here. Let him do his thing. He likes doing his thing. And finally, Elfire guy. Ow. Elfire guy is pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. Also, he has blue hair, so he must have taken up to the Mage Academy. Alright, let's go. Hello there. Thanks for the short bow. The awful piece of shit short bow, except it's okay in this version. Has one extra usage, same might, more hit, and more crit. Also, I think that's less weight by one. Not that it matters too much, but hey, it's something. Freyna would need it because her con is dog shit. Um, yeah, sure, let's go. Here's a nice, hefty bit of experience for Corel. First off, though, let's make sure we can't uh, set up a kill for Corel. Nope. 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 Everyone doubles him because he's so slow. Except for Corel. Corel's also slow. <clears throat> Alright, oh well. No setting up for today. Bless stuff. Ow. Well, we want to save the Luna anyway. What was that, level 8? 8. Luck and defense. God, Corel is a fucking battleship. So much defense. And we're just gonna win. And I came in like a winning ball. Get fucked. Good night. <clears throat> we're done. All that's left is Dart and Fargus. Dart doesn't move. Or should I say Hector? Or Dark Tur. Nah, their names don't combine at all. Thanks for the sleep staff, buddy. Guess we'll run up and get that pointless Lance Reaver. I mean, it's free money, I guess. You can also use it. It's not terrible. It's just a pile of garbage. Don't mind, don't mind. The fucking vendor. Thank God. Let's go to the vendor. I might sell the secret book. I don't think... Yeah. Rat doesn't actually mind missing a lot. And no one else has shitty skill. Uh, yeah, Sarah doesn't mind. She has great skill. Kanas has good skill. Uh, doesn't matter. You'll never hit anything. Freeing it. No, I don't care about Freeing it. Yeah, no, I'm probably going to sell the secret book. I don't think there's any reason not to. So let's do it. Hey, why not? <clears throat> I mean, all that really does is give you one critical and plus four hit. It's not useful. For the love of God, you don't sell vulneraries. Are you fucking kidding me? Why? Whatever, the next chapter sells them. I think. Alright, let's buy some thunders. We need those for Lin. For the heal staff. We're gonna buy some men's staves. Staves, whatever. And Wrath is pretty much good to go talk to Fargus next turn. You can really talk to Fargus with anybody, but I like talking to the main lord. No reason. Oh, that hurts me to sell the secret book, though. I don't like selling stat boosters. Yeah, there's literally no reason not to have uh, Thunder. Thunder is just better in every single way. If you can use Thunder, use Thunder. It even costs, like, only 38 more. But yeah, it does have less usages. Fuck, we'll buy one extra for Matthew. Okay, we're good. We can sell next turn if we need to. We'll probably sell some of these shittier items. Oh, are you interested in the sword here? You bet I am. I might just sell the Devil Axe. 
I like it, and it's good for gaining weapon experience, but Nino's gonna be fine, and so will Wrath getting weapon experience. He's pretty much gonna be using hand axes for the rest of the game at this point. They're good, so... No reason not to. I could arena abuse. Haha. <laughs> no, let's not. Really the only person who I'd honestly think about arena abusing with is Kanas, or maybe Farina. Actually, that would be good money! Yeah, good money. And archers actually have a good time in the arena. I'm not going to arena abuse in the way you're thinking, though. I'll arena abuse a little bit with Farina. Like, let's see. 740 is too much. 920 is way too much. 940. Okay, arena. Calm your shit down. Arena. Give me, like, a 600. No, stop it. Bad arena. Bad arena. Stop it. For the love of God, Arena. Don't make me take a 700 and risk everything. Stop it. Arena. Arena! 960? No. Bad Arena. Just give me a 6... For the love of God, Arena. You need to give me a 600. What the fuck is going on? Arena. Okay, I guess we're not Arena abusing today, guys. 720 I almost would have taken. No. 690, that works. Mage with fire. This looks doable. My hit rate's a bit shaky. Ow. Alright. Just don't miss, and we're good. Oh, sweet. There you go. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Alright, we're, we're leaving. Yeah, we're leaving. Out of there. Ah, oh, shit, I hit the wrong button! Oh, there's Farina. Oh my god! Alright, well, now we got it. Whoops. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Okay. No, I can't wager that. You have to give me 650 now. Game. Game! Alright, 650 is my max. It's my only amount of money I have. Game. I know you can give me 650. Alright, I can keep doing this. This works. Oh, that was 670. 690. He'll eventually give me 650. I know he will. He, he can do it. Game, I'm not, I'm not doing this until 680. I'm not doing this until you give me 650. I know you can do it. Game. Just give me 650. This is really mean right now. Fine. What can you sell? <laughs> um, where's the devil axe at? Did I send the devil axe? I totally sent it, didn't I? Damn it. Alright, we, we can make the money. Alright, not with any of your stuff. Uh, we can sell the heavy spear. has five uses left. There we go. Alright. No. 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 Son of a bitch. Is this game really on this right now? Please. There we go. A mage with fire. These are like our same odds from last time, except we were able to survive four fireballs this time, which is good. Good. Okay, now all you have to do is not miss Farina. You're our gateway to money. For the love of God, Farina. Thank you! Jesus. Barely any experience, but we get money. That's what's important. Holy crap, we actually have money now. It's beautiful. I don't learn my lessons. We're reading abuse four times. That's it. That's all we're doing. Game. 
game. Stop giving me 950s. I'm not going to be able to beat them, whatever they are. They're going to be like mages that double me. No. Stop it. This game is very mean. Ah, shit. I accidentally hit on 730. Alright, well, this looks doable. Oh, this is very doable. Why is this guy worth 740? He can't double me. Our hit chances are a little bit shakier. That's okay. Thank you, Farina. Make me good money. Hooray. Alright. No. No. Alright, let's try it. Okay, this looks doable. Alright, do you double me? You don't. Okay. Very doable, then. Not if you miss, though, Farina. Hooray! Okay, one more time. Then we're done. No. Oh, shit! Uh-oh. I accidentally clicked the wrong button. Ah, uh, get out. Get out. He totally doubles me. Yeah, no, no. Do you think that's possible, game? I really think that shit's possible. Okay, one more time, like I said. No. 800 might have been possible. No. 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 Come on, give me back the 700s. I can, I can deal with the 700. No, not 930. Come on. This game is so mean with its high numbers. Nah, no, that, that's still close to 800. There we go. Shaman with Flux. Oh, this looks very doable. I might even double them. Probably not, though. Bleh stuff. I don't like the damage he deals, though, but that's, that's tolerable. Nice. Hooray for an experience. Mostly it's just for the money. That's good enough. Alright, we're done here. Get me out of here. Vargas! And that was Porta Patton. Good lord. Now for a really easy chapter. Okay, let's go. The pirate ship should, in theory, be an incredibly easy chapter. It won't be a problem at all. The reason being... Zoldam has a guiding ring. Also, he's so What the fuck? I can't steal that! What happens if you try to steal someone who's holding... The fucking uber spear? I can't steal the guiding ring! You motherfucker! Well, this is a problem. Um, I think I'm gonna have to hack this because this is not fair. <laughs> you can't steal that. His effective speed is now over 20. I'm not sure if that factors into his speed before attack. Good lord, Zoldum is a scary motherfucker. Holy crap. Good lord, Zoldum! Calm the hell down! Alright, yeah, we're gonna have to fix this. This is this is not not cool. I can't steal that guiding ring, and I need the guiding ring for Corel or somebody else. I don't know who. Priscilla pfft, Priscilla would. Really needs it, doesn't Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to handle this next time. I'll be back when I uh I'll be back when I figure out what to do about that guy without making him bad. Like, maybe I'll just take Zoldum and lower his speed till it's just enough where I can steal it. That would be fair. So, like, let's see. He has 13 speed and he gets plus 9. That gives him 21 speed. So we just need to lower his speed by 4 and then guide... Actually, we can lower his speed by 3 and we'll be good. Yeah, we'll lower his speed to 18. 
Then Zoldum is still as broken as he is, it's just that he will be slow enough that we can steal the Guiding Ring. That's, that's all we need to do. See you guys for that next time. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. <laughs>